Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to do something super fun and that you haven't seen that much of, which is me with a pink lip. Why? Because it's getting ready to be love day. And love is pink and red and hearts and all that good stuff. So I wanted to show a very cute little way to have some fun date night makeup. Okay, perfect. So to start out, I've actually already done my eyebrows and already primed my eye. I did use Urban Decay's eye primer. And now I'm just going to hydrate my skin, and today I'm using the OC Malibu, and this is their lightweight moisturizer. It's really good. It's just a very lightweight, gives like a nice barrier um, to protect your skin, so that's why I like it. And it smells really like fresh. Okay, so as soon as you do that, let that set in, because we're going to move on to eyes. Eyes are going to be the first thing. I love doing eyes first. They're just so much fun as I knock everything over, which if you guys watch me, you know that I tend to do a lot. <laughs> um, so the first thing that we're going to use, I'm obsessed with this palette. This is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, and it is so pretty. If you look at all these colors, like they're so pretty. And I'm going to be using this one right here, which is called Strapless, and probably with like the best brush that I've found in a very long time. This is... Same, same me, same me, I guess. Um, and this is a 2.4. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the strapless and start dusting in my crease. And because this is like a Valentine's Day look, we're going to make it really simple on the eyes and the lips are going to be a really fun pink color. And what I like about this brush is honestly, if you guys know, I'm obsessed with Elena Badro. I really, truly am. But these brushes are giving her a really good run for her money. I found it when I was in LA and I was obsessed. But all I'm doing is just doing little tiny circular motions and little back and forth. I do like to do a little circle because that way whenever you do it, it kind of raises up just a little bit above the natural crease, which is really nice. Next, we're going to go into... The Becca palette. So this is the Becca by Jaclyn Hill. I've talked about it before. I love it, but I am going to take a smaller brush of the same me, and this is a 2.3, and I'm going to use a little bit of Amaretto, which is the top middle. It's so pretty. I'm just going to use a little bit of that with a smaller brush, just so that way it can get a little bit more depth. And because we're going to do a really pretty pink lip, I wanted the eyes to kind of have a little bit of that pinky peachy tone to it. So that way it's just very soft, very Valentine's Day. And I will do one with like a classic red lip, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different as opposed to the red lip. Take the first brush that you started with and just little windshield wiper strokes, little tiny circles so that way Everything is just going to be very bluff. Blah, blah, blah. That's so everything's just going to be bluffed in because it's a new word. It's called blending and bluff together. Is it's called bluff. So that's that's my new phrase. Next, we're going to go back and we're going to take that same color in strapless with the a little tiny pencil brush, and this is the Bedellium Tools 780, and we're going to make it pretty smoky underneath. So whenever I tell clients, like, a lot of times they can't really, you know, look at it. If you look down, you're going to have a hard time. But if you lift your mirror up a little bit when you're at home and go right under, it opens your eye and it is so much easier as opposed to you trying to do it like that. It's so much easier. And I teach that in all my classes. So just lift your mirror up just a little bit more. So that way it opens your eye. And it's actually the opposite, just like a nice little tip. Whenever you're doing eyeshadow, and especially if you have a really hooded eyelid and you're trying to do a nice crease color, but you just can't get it because your eye is a little bit closer. Um, I can't talk today. A little bit closed. If you hold the mirror down and look, hold your head straight and then eyes straight down, see how much openness that gives me when I'm doing that. So I can get into all the little crevices that I couldn't if I were like this. So just a little side tip. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of a fluffier, more dense brush, and I'm gonna go in with the color Honey Butter, 
It's at the very bottom. This palette, when I tell you, this is, it's such a pretty palette. I'm obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. I think I bought out all of Too Faced the other day um, and half of Sephora. Yikes. It's part of the job, all right? <laughs> um, so just take that and just start tapping it on onto the lid. You don't want that much of a difference. We're not trying to do a cut crease. It's not what we're doing. We're just making this very soft and romantic. Think like Jane Austen, but with a twist. So even though it doesn't look like it, we're going to stop right there for the eyes because I'm going to do lashes. And I like doing all that stuff last. So now we're going to be on the skin. This guy. <laughs> this little guy called Tom Ford, Shimmer Shot, and this is the color Spin Spin Sugar. I've mentioned this um, to you guys the other day, I think, not that long ago. I'm obsessed with it. So unlike the Becca, because a lot of you said, what is the difference between it and Becca? If I were to put the Becca on my face right now, and trust me, I love the Becca. I will always buy the Becca because it is a little bit more affordable. Um, than the Tom Ford, but it's really, really, really um, pigmented. You get a lot of shimmer, which is not a bad thing, um, but I just wanted something, because not all the times I want to be like super, super, super glowy. Sometimes I just want to be like super glowy, um, and that's a little bit of the difference. It also has more um, little tiny particles in it. This one does not. This one just looks like you got a facial by the world's best facialist and your skin is just naturally, naturally glowing. That is why I like this one. And I am using the Beauty Blender and it's nude to match my nails. I had to, sorry guys, it was just so cute. I couldn't say no to it. Um, the foundation that I'm gonna use today next is gonna be the Born This Way by Too Faced. And I am the color Light Beige. Um, I do like putting it on the back of my hand and then just start tapping it in. And why I like this one, I normally do tinted moisturizer, but for events and things like that, I love doing foundation because it just gives you such a flawless coverage. And this one definitely does, and it's not too matte. So that's really good, but the coverage is absolutely impeccable. I wore it the other night. Um, it covers everything, it's just so, so good. And I have the world's most sensitive skin, so if something is good on my skin, um, in my opinion, it's it's kind of good for everybody because I'm so sensitive. I would break out over anything. So whenever you're doing this, um, most of you probably already know, but just to be on the safe side, you do want to make sure that your beauty blender is damp. <laughs> that sounded like goat boy doing it. Um, but make sure that your beauty blender is damp. Because if not, you're not going to spread the makeup as well. It's just kind of going to get stuck to the sponge and not move as well on your face. Um, the next product that I'm going to use is the It Cosmetics Concealer. And this is their new one, or not their new one, it's new to me. It's their Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Lift in a Tube. And it has one side that's an illuminator and one side that's a concealer. So, Lord knows we want to illuminate under this. So let's just illuminate. And let's conceal. So, you guys know I don't like crazy, crazy little contour that much. But just a little bit, so just put a little bit there. I cannot talk to a little bit there, a little bit around your nose, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then, even though that looks like a lot underneath my eyes, it's not. I have really dark circles. Um, and I haven't gotten any filler or anything like that underneath it to make the dark circles go away. But to be honest, I am, I am so not opposed to it at this point because I am getting dark under there. So then you're just going to take your beauty blender and dab that in. Always get these little tiny inner corners. If you don't, your makeup just doesn't look finished. And if you're wondering if your date is going to notice while you're like on your Valentine's Day date, yes, he will. He notices everything. Boys are crazy. They're actually crazier than us. 
They notice everything, but not really. They're so dumb, but just kidding. <laughs> I love boys. I'm married to one. Well, I'm married to a man. Okay, so I needed just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm dabbing that up. Now, I'm gonna use, this is a little bit different. This is the Chanel Sol de Tan, but this is the illuminating effect. Um, I normally use just the regular tanner, but I just wanna be a little bit more illuminating. A little bit more illuminating, a little bit more illuminated. Can we speak today? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Um, so I'm putting just a little bit on my sponge. And I'm just gonna go around my face, just so that way I have a little bit of a glow. And it doesn't give that much color, but also what's really good about this stuff, and the, if you have oily skin, it, like earmuff everything that I'm getting ready to say right now, okay? If you have dry skin, and let's say you have foundation that is a little too light for you, the best way to warm it up is with the stuff. It is amazing. You can just put a little bit in with your foundation and mix it up. And like Becca has one that's called Topaz. It's beautiful, but it's so dark that you can't get that good quality. But this right here, this is such a light shade of a bronze that you can put it on there and it's it's not too dark, which is amazing if you mix it with your makeup. Okay, perfect. Um, the next product I'm going to use to set is the La Mer powder. I love this stuff. I've talked about it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm almost out, which I'll actually have to go to Neiman Marcus today and buy some more because I'm completely out of it, basically. Um, but I am just going to take a little bit, and this is with the Sigma powder sweep. And we're just going to go a little bit underneath the eyes just to set them, just a tad. And again, you want to set smaller areas with your face with the smaller brush. Okay, going over the nose and through the middle. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to take um, Real Techniques brush and we're just going to tap a little bit of that. And we're just going to tap it. I don't like rubbing. I highly advise not to rub against your makeup because you'll sometimes get those little brush marks, which are never fun for anybody. Nobody wants those, especially if you're on like a Valentine's Day date or if you're out with your girls on Valentine's Day. When I was single, me and my girlfriends, we would, well, we wouldn't do anything. We'd actually just go see Twilight and, um, wonder when Robert Pattinson was going to propose to us. So, but we still got our makeup done and we still, you know, made ourselves really cute looking. Okay. So after you're done with that, I'm going to go in with Ta -da! Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to be using the darker side to contour with just a little bit. And I'm only going to use a little because I am going to use this amazing new powder that I found for bronzer that gives you a nice illuminating glow. So I'm using the Elena Badger brush and I'm just gonna go right underneath my cheekbones. And because I want this look like more soft, I'm not gonna super, super chisel out my face. That's not what I wanna do with this look. But I do need a little bit of warmth so I don't look like a Scandinavian pale child that I am, even though I love that look. But for me, I just always wanna be bronze. Okay. So see, I did very, very, very minimal. Now, this. You guys are used to me talking about the Bali Brown. This is called Aruba, and it's by Bobby Brown, and it is stunning. I am so obsessed with it. It gives you the prettiest bronze glow, and I found it because, honestly, I was actually too pale to use the Bali Brown, and I was like, ugh, I want to use it. I was so pale. So I didn't use it, and I was in Sephora, and I saw this beautiful palette. I was like, why have I never purchased this before? It was so stupid. I am going to go back 
and um, with the Charlotte Tilbury, but on the right side, I'm going to get a little bit of a highlighter, and I'm using the Bedellium brush, and this is the tapered, always do the tip of the nose, and then just a touch along the cheekbones. Right through there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to blush. Um, I love blush, who doesn't love blush? Some people actually don't, I have people that don't like blush. Um, but this is Baby Love, and it's by Too Faced. It's a very neutral peachy color because I'm gonna do really pink on the lips, and I was just thinking, if you do too much pink, then if I have like a little bit of more of like a soft flower rose petal type eye and then really pink cheeks and then pink lips, it's it's too much, you know? Um, so that's why I wanted to offer a more like neutral, subtle peach. And just putting a little bit on the apples of the cheeks. So that way it's just like a nice little flush. Next, before we do lashes, I am going to Top it off with my favorite YSL mascara. I feel like I don't even have to tell you guys that that's what mascara I use because I talk about it so much. Okay, and the lashes that I'm going to be using are the Flutter Lashes. I'm obsessed with them. And they're a little bit more expensive, but at the same time, you can use them 10 times to 20 times more. You just peel off the glue along the line. Okay, and I use the Black Duo. Okay, now for lips. Powder the lips. I always like to do that, I swear to God. I think my mom told me that when I was younger that it helped lipstick stay on her, so I just keep doing it. Um, we're gonna go for a very, bright pink. And this right here is Make It Forever Aqua Lip in number 21C. So pretty, see? Now we're going to use like a cult favorite from Mac Lovers, Saint Germain. It is so stinking. Woo, that was bright. That was bubblegum bright. <laughs> I haven't used this color in so long, you guys. I'm just going to deepen it with Too Faced. Perfect. Okay, so that is an easy Valentine's Day makeup. I'm going to be doing a very cute little pony um, tail that you guys asked about to go with this style. Everything is going to be linked down below. I know I already said that, but just so you guys are aware, link down below, and also the dress and my fingernails. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned.